gonna give you I'm gonna give you ways to generate leads. Alright, so first, ebooks. These work great for B2B companies or a business that works in a very technical space as people love to read and gain expertise about their industry. So make sure you don't promote your services. Make sure you don't promote your services or products. People don't want to be sold. They want to be informed. So write it from a neutral perspective and give actionable insights. Share the ebook socially and ask your network to share it for you. You'll want to ensure that you have a landing page set up that requires visitors to input their, their uh, name, email address, um, phone number for a chance to download the ebook. Pages like this can be built easily with tools like Unbounce. Secondly, newsletters. Uh, do you have a newsletter yet? If not, you're missing out on one of the simplest ways to generate more leads. So make sure you put a newsletter sign up in every possible place that makes sense on your website. With these newsletters, not only do you have a captive audience, people have to opt in to your newsletter, but email pathways are a great way to avoid getting lost in all the internet noise. Again, don't make it all about you. Instead, share with your contacts, your insights, uh, recent wins you created for your customers, and industry news. And of course, I have one of these. The next is blog. Actually, I actually have two. I have one on my website, and I have one on Blogger. Several on Blogger, actually. So, a blog. Having a blog is one of the best lead generation tools you can use, as it not only allows a company for, or person complete control of what is said, but also an opportunity to have the undivided attention of the reader. So, make sure that your blog is Optimize to generate leads by having a sign-up section for your newsletter and by using the margins to promote your products and services. And I feel like a broken record, but don't make the blog all about you. Give real value. And then there's Twitter. Twitter is a dream for generating leads. Use it to reach out to influencers in your industry and get into conversations with them. Their followers, who are probably some of your potential customers, will see your interactions and follow you or visit your site. You can also follow trending subjects that pertain to your business and interject your thoughts into the general discussion by using the hashtag symbol. For instance, if you're in the mobile world, you may use the hashtag iPhone to find and eventually get leads. Um, networking events. While a lot of action happens in the digital world, the real world still provides a lot of advantages, especially networking events. Um, even events that didn't directly pertain to my business have provided me with some of the most valuable contacts and leads. You'll meet more people, expand your network, and gain referrals. Plus, it's a great way to build your brand. So, make sure to bring business cards. And don't be afraid to ask the people you meet for their patronage. And develop an engaging video. You, uh, please, don't, please don't produce another terrible commercial and post on YouTube. See, the world doesn't need any more of these. What people always want more of is entertainment. Sorry about the dogs barking. Um, so, spend some time on developing a great idea that promotes your business and engages your customers. Once you've uploaded the video, you can get the ball rolling on making it go viral by using services like StumbleUpon to drive traffic to your video for pennies per viewer. Of course, you can use other social media sites, you know, like Pinterest, Facebook, all that. Video sites like YouTube allow you to put links directly into the video. Use these links to um, go back to specific landing pages on your website. And <clears throat> this is another good one, infographics. Uh, I, use, I, I use infographics, like I search them. Um, Pinterest is an awesome place to find infographics on like any subject or topic. So yes, infographics may have been overused a few years back, but people still share them and still stop and read them whenever they can. <coughs> They're quite cheap to produce as well. <clears throat> Simply come with, come up with an original idea. Again, don't make it about you. Find a quality but affordable graphic designer. Then share it socially and ask your network to pass along. You can also submit your infographics to publications that cover your industry. Always put your logo and website URL in the bottom of the infographic. This way readers will be able to visit your site. And then there's webinars. Webinars are an inexpensive way to get your message to thousands of potential customers. There are many services that allow you to broadcast a webinar quickly and easily. 
and if you make it a reoccurring event, you'll continue to grow your following. So, come up with a great idea that helps your customers and promote it using social media, your network, and your newsletter. At the end of the webinar, feel free to ask the attendees to download an ebook, sign up for your newsletter, or visit your site. This will bring the leads flowing in. And the next one is strong branding. Customers love authentic companies. They like it when a company has a strong and clear message, and that message is consistent across all of their marketing platforms. So, don't try and be everything to everyone. Customers want the experts and the company that is the best in their industry. Focus on communicating that through your branding, and your conversion rates will go up, result resulting in more leads.